Hey, just some quick reminders before we start the class. Alignment is key. Make sure you have the correct alignment in the poses. It's not about trying to have the perfect shape. Engagement is always important. Make sure you're engaging the correct parts of your bodies in the poses. Be aware of your breath. Be aware of the practice. Always be aware of your breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose if you're able to. Once you see you are daydreaming, come back just to the mat and the practice. And four, have fun, be safe, and enjoy the practice. Let's begin. Hello, everybody. Namaste. Welcome back to Find Your Serenity online with Nigel. Today, we're going to come on to the top of our mats, and we're going to practice Chandra Namaskar, moon salutations. The new moon is about two days ago on March 24th, so we're going to tap into some of those energies. We're gonna inhale, come up into our back bend here. Exhale, come down into our forward fold. And in that same exhale, we're gonna bring our left foot back, drop our left knee. Inhale, come up into our squarian pose. It's a little slight back bend here. Gonna exhale. We're gonna bring our back foot flat on the floor now and do the same thing, inhale, come up. Now we're gonna exhale, come down into our eight limb pose. We're gonna bring our chest, knees, toes, and chin onto the ground here. Now we're gonna inhale, come up into our baby cobra. Feel the nice little burn in the top of our chest. I mean back, sorry. <laughs> and gonna exhale here, come into our mountain pose, feet together, hips up, chin into chest. And on that same breath, we're gonna bring our right foot forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. We're gonna bring that back foot low. Inhale, come up. And exhale, come down. Feet together. Into our forward fold. Now we're gonna inhale, come up. So our back bend. And exhale, come down, relax. Shake it out. I'm gonna go right back into the second one. Inhale, hands into the Namaskar prayer position. Exhale. Ready, inhale, come up into our back bend. Exhale, come down into our forward fold. We're gonna bring our right foot back, toes up, inhale, come up into our back bend. Exhale, come down. Um, make our back foot flat. Uh, inhale, come up. Exhale, go back down. Um, bring our knees together, chin on the floor, chin, chest, toes into our eight limb pose. Inhale into our baby cobra. Now exhale, feet together into our mountain pose. On that same breath, we're gonna bring our right foot forward, drop our left knee, have our toes planted, inhale, come up. Go to where you're comfortable on the back bend.
exhale, come down. Top of the foot down on the ground. When you're ready, inhale, come up. And exhale, come down. On that same breath, feet together into our forward fold. Inhale, slowly come up. Gently go into your back bend. And exhale, relax. And that's our Chandra Namaskar. <laughs> there you go. How does it feel? Feeling good? Hips should be a lot more open. Now, as we get ready into our next pose, you can come onto the top of your mat, but for demonstrative purposes, I'm going to face towards the camera in the middle of the mat. Inhale, arms come up. Now we're gonna exhale and we're gonna bend to our right side. Bring the opposite arm down. Keep that right arm up. You can look at the middle finger or you can keep your head looking straight directly in front of you. And just gonna bend that hip out, feel the stretch. Inhale, come up. And exhale, we're gonna come down and do the opposite side, opposite stretch. And same thing, just gonna hold here for five counts. Ready, inhale, come up. And exhale, arms down. Check it out if you have to. We're gonna focus on our sides today. Usually something that we really don't focus on. Inhale one more time, arms up. Gonna finish off strong. Look up if you can a little bit, feel the stretch. Exhale, we're gonna do the left side starting this time, come down and stretch and you ready inhale come up and exhale we're gonna go down on our right side up and exhale arms down relax and shake it out really 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 good side stretch there now we'll come to the top of our mat hips out our hands on our hips gonna inhale and to where you're comfortable we're gonna go into an extended triangle bringing our left foot back if you can't do an extended a regular triangle is fine we're gonna bring our arms up and exhale we're gonna come down and bring our right arm over our head and look at the middle finger and we're just gonna pull it towards the opposite way that left arm is firmly planted on the ground and we're just gonna stretch out our side here and hold for five counts it's a really good side stretch inhale come up all, we do, all we're gonna do is here, flip our grip, go to the opposite side, count. And once you are ready, I'm gonna inhale. And when you're ready, exhale, come down. Same thing. This time you're gonna bring your left arm over your head and plant that right arm firmly in the ground and hold for 10 counts. Your arm will come more down. Sorry, there's something blocking my arm from coming all the way down. And when you're ready, inhale, come up. Switch your stance and come back to the top of your mat. Exhale, relax, shake it out. It's a really intense, you know, leg and hip stretch. So you feel like you gotta just shake it out a little longer. Take your time, take your time. And when you're ready, you're gonna come to the middle of your mat. How I am here. 
and put your hands on your hips inhale you're gonna come into a really comfortable open leg position wide not too much because we're gonna hold it for a good minute gonna inhale arms up and exhale we're gonna come down nice and slow if you can grab the floor grab the floor push or if you can grab the bottom back of your shins which is your calves <laughs> and we're just gonna hold here if you could only touch your shins that's also okay too and just hold for five counts make sure your hips are forward back is straight spine is straight and then when you're ready we're gonna do here we're gonna come to the right side and stretch and hold here for five counts and then we're gonna go on to the other side to the left side and hold same thing It's a really good hammy stretch. I'm gonna come back into our neutral position. And from in here, we're gonna inhale, come up. And then we're gonna hold when we get halfway on our forward fold to hold for our halfway forward fold. Same thing, arms up, breathe regularly. I'm not gonna hold it too long and then inhale, come up. And when you're done, exhale, relax, feet together. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. <laughs> Woo! Now we're gonna come back to the top of our mats. Hands on our hips. Our thumbs slightly on our back. And we're gonna inhale slightly, come back into our back bend here. We're gonna use our arms to support us. We might get into a little deeper stretch from earlier. Doing a little counter pose to the forward fold. Same thing, five counts. And when you're ready, inhale, come up. And exhale, relax, shake it out. Always want to counter pose whatever pose that you do. Keep the body really aligned and toned. When you're ready, you're gonna come to the middle of our mats again, or you come to the top of your mat. Gonna inhale for our left foot, come up into our tree pose. Hands into Namaskar if you can, or at your hip. And we're gonna hold for five counts. Exhale, bring that left leg down. Now we're gonna inhale, bring up our right leg. And when you're ready, hands into Namaskar, and we're gonna hold for five counts. And exhale, disengage and relax good good that's it for our standing sections of the day we're going to come down into a seated meditative position you can either sit cross-legged or brush your sauna whatever works for you it's a really nice comfortable seated meditative position and we're just going to sit here and just listen to our bodies and see how we feel after that Good. Now when you're ready, you're gonna open your eyes. I'm gonna put place our legs right in front of us. Feet together, legs together. Gonna inhale, we're gonna bring our left leg, bend it to our chest, keep our right leg straight. Go into our next pose. Gonna inhale, arm up, exhale, bring it down and wrap it around our bent knee and bind with our opposite hand and look the opposite way. Or you can, if you can, bring your head to your chest. And we're just gonna hold here for five counts. Who's dedicated to Sage Marachi? 
sorry if I butchered it. I'm really bad with names in Sanskrit. And then when you're ready, you're gonna disengage your bind and bring your arm back and disengage your locked knee, bent knee, and then a little shake it out. And when you're ready, inhale, bend the right leg. And then we're gonna do the same thing, inhale and exhale, wrap our arm around our knee. And grab with our other arm and bring our head towards our knee if we can. And we're just gonna hold here for five counts. And we're gonna keep engagement, engage that flat leg down into the ground. And when you're ready, first disengage the bind, then unwrap your arm and release your leg, stretch it out. Good, 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 good. And from here, excuse me. From here, we're just going to inhale, arms up, and exhale, we're going to go down into our forward fold. into your neutral position and relax. So now we're just gonna make sure our alignment is correct. And now we're just gonna take our right leg and place it over our left leg. Then come to that side, we just placed our leg over and slightly twist for a light, light, light spinal twist here. disengage bring that leg back to the neutral position and do the same thing on the inhale bring our left leg up over our right knee and then when you're ready slight twist to the same side and just hold for five counts Engage and come to a neutral position and just shake our legs out really quickly. When you're ready, you're gonna come down to the left side of your body, right leg on top of your left leg. And we're just gonna take our left arm and place it as a bent angle, hand behind our head. Sorry for the vision being blocked. Still working on my spacing and then we're going to inhale bring our leg up and we're just going to go back and forth for 10 times make sure you engage that right leg when you bring it up and when you get to your 10th one you're going to hold at the top of the sorry you're going to hold at the top of the pose and we're just gonna hold it here. And exhale, slowly bring it down. And when you're ready, we're gonna flip sides. Same thing, arm bent, hand behind our head on our right side. And when you're ready, inhale, gonna go up 10 times, leg lifts. And then last one, hold. And you ready, exhale, come down. And now we're just gonna flip right back onto our left side to go into our next pose, which will be our half bow pose. Same thing, just align your body. Left leg on the bottom, right leg on the top. Use your hands to guide you. 
gonna use our right arm to grab our right leg and we're gonna bend it for a slight back bend here. And we're just gonna hold for five counts. And when you're ready, exhale, let go. And we're gonna switch on to our right side, same thing. Once you're ready and comfortable, Inhale, bring that leg up, and we're gonna go into our back bend here from our bow pose. Sometimes it's hard to keep the balance. If you feel like you can't keep your hand behind your head, it is okay to place that right hand in front of you to hold your pose in the balance. And when you're ready, exhale, disengage. And we're just gonna come back and lay on our stomachs now. Once you're alarmed, properly and you are comfortable it's gonna come down we're gonna space out our legs just a little bit have the top of our feet down we're gonna bring our arms to the side of us and when you're ready press up toes up into the ground sorry as I said laying back down and we're just gonna come into our sphinx foes this is a nice and easy little back bend we're just gonna hold it here for some time. Just relax, breathe into it. Try to have the 90 degree angle on your arms if you're able to. And just breathe, look straight. And when you're ready, you're gonna exhale. Bring your head just back straight on the mat. And just breathe here for a second. You might feel a little burn <clears throat> in the top of your back between your arms. to your sides next to your chest and we're going to inhale come up into our full cobra and gonna make sure our spine is straight we're looking forward arms is up engage back of our feet is down engaged into the mat and exhale slowly come down Keep those arms up and then we're gonna come up, inhale, and now we're gonna go into our twisted cobra. Gonna look over our shoulder to our left foot. On our exhale, inhale, come back forward. And on our exhale, we're gonna look on the opposite side over our shoulder. Got our back foot. And inhale, come back neutral. Exhale, go down. And just relax. Relax, relax. Shake it out if you have to. flip onto our backs and we're just gonna align ourselves nice and gently we're gonna place our arms to our sides and you're gonna come up, inhale, bring our feet and our heads up for our light boat pose. Nothing too, too, too much. Just something light. And exhale, come down. We're gonna do two more. Just a really light boat pose. Just coming up just lightly. It's just, you know, not too far off the ground. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Finish off strong. We almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more, one more, one more. And 
and he'll come up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale, come down. Great, strong abs. Let's go. This is how we get there. And we're almost there. I just want us to counterpose our body really quick for everything that we did today. So we're just gonna bring up everything into like our little dead bug pose. We're just gonna bring our arms straight up along with our legs. It's almost like a little tabletop. It's all on your butt. Let's hold it is here as much as you need to. Engaging, engaging. And when you're ready, just exhale, come down, slide right into your shavasana. Hold however long you need to. Let those thoughts drift away. Close your eyes and just breathe and follow your breath. Now, once you're ready, you're gonna start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Come back gently and nicely. Start moving your limbs. Come to. And when you're ready, we're just gonna come over onto our left side into our little baby cradle position. Our eyes 
eyes still closed, you're gonna come to our seated meditative position. Hands in our Nana Mudra. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes or keep them closed. We're just gonna end off with a Nadi Shadona Pranayama technique. We're gonna put our hands and finger and our pointer finger above between our eyebrows. And we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna use that to close our right nostril. This is all after an exhale. And then when you're ready, you're gonna inhale gently through your left nostril only. And then exhale. Inhale and exhale. Do this at your own pace five times. Inhale and exhale. To the end of your fifth count you're going to use your left ring finger after you pick up your thumb to close your left nostril and only inhale through your right nostril inhale and exhale inhale and exhale done we're gonna bring our hands into our namaskar prayer position and we're gonna end our class with our three ohms and one shanti I'm gonna allow you to do this at your own pace and begin And that's it. Just want to thank you one more time for coming out, coming through, watching. Uh, I'm still getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Getting there. Better quality going forward. Thank you very much. And namaste.